Hello to everyone out there in Ciderville. My name is Rhea Wincoller, and I am the host and producer of this weekly podcast. And for the past couple weeks, I've been taking a little bit of a respite, kind of catching up on my life, having been in this for six seasons now, nearing 300 episodes. And actually, this week, I'm taking a little bit longer vacation time than I thought. So we will be back with a new episode, a mini episode on July 7th. And uh, that's going to be a little bit about my experience, well, trying to absolve myself, if you will, from a little bit of a missed judging of cider. Not recently, many years ago, but some of those things just kind of hang on for so long. Anyways, that's what we're going to be coming back with you on July 7th. And perhaps the Talking Palms will help me out with that. <coughs> we'll be there, Rhea. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Quince, because I'm going to need you for that. And uh, in the meanwhile, just to catch you up while I have your ear, I, I've i been traveling a little bit. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was out in California had a nice flight out and uh, felt really safe doing that. So it's really great to see the world opening up, albeit you still need to wear those masks when you're in the airport and in different situations. But it was wonderful to land into Santa Cruz, where I was able to meet up with Nicole Todd of the Santa Cruz Cider Company. So we're going to have a special recording with her, actually at a campsite over a fire, where we got to uh, hear about her story Uh, She and her husband, Felix Todd, had a house fire that was so bad that they couldn't live anymore in the home, and a little bit of that journey. And interestingly enough, Nicole is also on the board of the American Cider Association. So it's, you know, how do you juggle all that when you are filled with so much responsibility, and yet your life is falling apart, and yet it's in the middle of a pandemic? So there's a lot to that story. It was really lovely hanging with her. And while I was in Santa Cruz, I was actually attending the Santa Cruz Farmer's Market when I bumped into Nicole. Well, I actually didn't bump into. It was my goal to hunt her down because I know that the booth is set up there every Wednesday at the Farmer's Market downtown from 1 to 6. So I kind of snuck up on her. And she told me that Robbie Honda was there from Tanuki Cider Company. And he is also hanging in there. So that was great to report. I kind of snuck up on him this time around because I wasn't sure that Robbie was there and he was working at a a farm produce stand. Actually, it was a, a meat farm. And so I had my mask on and my sunglasses and a baseball cap and was bent over looking down at some frozen chicken. And I said, does this go well with cider? Trying to, you know, fake my voice. And he took about a New York second to guess that it was me. I guess I can't fool so well. I didn't think it was my voice. I don't know. But anyways, uh, it was so great to see him and be able to give people hugs again. So I'll see you next week on July 7th. (coughs) You want to mention Patreon? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Quince. You know, I'm in that kind of like rest state of mind. Uh, Also, actually, just to tell you, I've been building a a stone wall, um, a stone retaining wall that is stepping up the side of a hill. And uh, that's a lot of work. Each block, each uh, little stone block is about 45 pounds. And I haven't gotten to that that level yet. So it's digging, 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 and measuring, 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 and working on a project that's been kind of glaring me in the eye here for a long time to get it done. So that's a little bit what I'm doing on my vacation time. (laughs) Woo! (laughs) Woo! (laughs) <laughs> that and staying cool. And um, I, I just want to just mention on that, boy, uh, it is hot out in the Pacific Northwest right now. And and in so many spots in the world, uh, the temperatures are rising. So huh, what's to say about that other than, yeah, climate change is here. It has happened. Our climate has changed. And I'm just... Um, holding you all in my thoughts and I know that when I say that I speak for everyone we're in this all together and got to keep on moving forward anyways um what was I talking about well I know I would like to talk about the peri pear trees and how well they are looking in the nursery (coughs) we're talking about patreon peri right (coughs) patreon oh yeah right 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 so um 
I have a cider going up campaign that's for commercial makers or anyone in the industry who wants to help support the podcast. And, uh, we currently have the following folks a part of that campaign, and that's the folks at Ross on Y Cider and Perry Company. They're in Ross on Y in the UK. And we also have Insider Japan, which is Japan's first and only bilingual magazine. And if you haven't seen the most recent issue, it is fantastic. It, it doesn't come out like every single week, like the podcast, but when it does come out, it kind of gives you pause. And it's so cool to see articles written both Japanese and English and bringing us news from another part of the world. So a great magazine to support. Also, Space Time Mead and Cider Works, that's based in Dunmore, Pennsylvania. Highly recommend following the Instagram feed for that account. It's so much fun. We also have Duck Chicken Cider. That is a London-based cidery. It's really like a nano cidery in the back apartment area. Actually, it's in the whole apartment area because, you you know, I've stayed there in their apartment, both with Colleen and James. And in the hallway, it's just stacked, you know, depending on what time of the year. It's stacked with bottles and boxes, and it just, they're just cool people. I'm hoping they're going to be coming here to the U.S. this fall, so we get to hang out with them. So thank you guys for supporting Cider Chat. And also Esoterra Cider. That's in Dolores, Colorado, which is uh, down by the Four Corners region of the U.S. So the Four Corners are the states of Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. Um, I can't think of this, the, the fourth state where I have a whole bunch of family. Arizona, Rhea. Arizona. Thanks, Perry. And Arizona. And it's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I I just love that part of the world so much. And also, Taddy Bogle Cider Works. That's based in Acme, Pennsylvania. And Taddy Bogle has been having a lot of live music and fun stuff going on there. That's a little south out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. To you all, I raise my glass, and to all the other patrons who are not commercial makers or the commercial makers who just donate what they can, it just means the world because, um, you know, it's a lot, right? And we're just coming out of this, like, crazy scene where everything was shut down and we're still a little bit tentative. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's quite a time. So thank you, thank you. If you'd like to become a patron, too, you just could Google the Cider Chat Patreon. It's spelled P A T R E O N. And just check out Cider Chat, and there you'll go, or go at ciderchat.com. Find a little link. It's all good, isn't it? It sure is, Rio. And with that, I'm going to leave you here. I appreciate the help of Mr. Quince. (laughs) Welcome. The one and only Perry Pear. Yes, that's me. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And the Medlars. Hello. And I, I am Rio Wincaller. And speaking for all of us, I would say that we are so looking forward to seeing you in Ciderville. Bye-bye! We like cider We like palms We love orchards And having fun There is a reason There is a reason why we do it like this Oh yes there is There is a reason why we do like this. Oh yes, there is. There is a reason why we drink it like this. Oh yes, there is. There is a reason. We like walking through the orchards, dancing in the streets, smelling all the blossoms, kicking up our feet. We like cider. We like palms. We like orchards. Having some fun There is a reason There is a reason why we do it like this Oh yes there is There is a reason why we do it like this Oh yes there is There is a reason why we drink it like this Oh yes there is There is a reason We like walking through the orchards Dancing in the streets Smelling all the blossoms Kicking up our feet Oh yeah like cider. Oh yes we do. We like palm. Oh yes we do. We love orchards 
having some fun. There is a reason. There is a reason why we do it like this. There's a reason why we do it like this. There is a reason why we drink it like this. We like walking down the orchards, dancing in the streets, smelling all the blossoms, kicking up our feet. Oh, yeah. We like cider. We like palm. Oh, yes, we do. We like orchards, having some fun. Yeehaw!